motivation can come from a variety of sources. The Kansas Jayhawks can feed off the fact that Missouri is in town. The Tigers beat KU 74-73 in Columbia on January 19th. Or the Hawks can think about the players who took the court at Allen Fieldhouse yesterday. The Legends game saw more than a few familiar faces lace up their high tops again for the KU fans. And those players, coaches, and managers will be honored throughout the game today. It's time for the main event of Legends Weekend, the Border War. KU and MU next on Cable Channel 6. The Jayhawks haven't lost a game here at Allen Fieldhouse since February 20th, 1994. The opponent that day, the Missouri Tigers, and the Tigers are back for this game this afternoon. We're glad you could join us for the contest alongside Mike Maddox. I'm Chris Ronan. Mike, tell us about this rivalry. You've been through a few border wars of your own. What are the players thinking right now? Well, they're excited. Uh, you know, every time you get an opportunity to play here in Allen Fieldhouse, the adrenaline's pumping, and, and you're ready to play. Uh, but when Missouri comes to town, everything is just intensified uh, a little bit more. Uh, guys will be playing a little bit harder. The crowd's going to be louder, and uh, it's just always a great afternoon when uh, Missouri comes to town, and I know these guys are looking forward to it. And what an exciting evening we had last night here at Allen Fieldhouse, the Legends game. Several former players, including you, Mike. You said you weren't going to play, but you were out there. Well, I didn't. I wasn't going to play, uh, but uh, I was excited uh, to get out there and play. There you see uh, they were introducing the uh, 88 team, and there's Danny. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, you know, I still got lucky every now and then. And you uh, hit both of your three-pointers, Mike. Yeah, I'm working with... Uh, uh, Billy Thomas, uh, I told him to look out. Uh, his record was in jeopardy, so uh, no, but uh, we had a great time, and it was fun to see everybody at banquet last night, and uh, I know uh, these guys want to come out and play well today. Well, how about this Tigers team? They're 13-9, and 5-4 and four in the conference. Not a very good road team. They haven't won a single road game this season. They do pretty well in Columbia, and they did pretty well the last time these two teams played. Well, they did. Uh, they always get up for Kansas, and I know Norm Stewart has a little extra incentive. Uh, he's looking forward to maybe trying to bust some of the 100-year uh, anniversary bubble here. But, uh, you know, Missouri's led by Kelly Thames, their 6'8 senior, averaging 14.5 points and six rebounds a game. They've got Monty Harge inside, 6'11", 335 pounds. The key with him will be whether or not he can stay out of foul trouble. He fouled out in Columbia. And the other big difference uh, today is Rafe LaFrance is going to be on the floor. He wasn't in Columbia, and, and that makes a huge difference. If there was one game where we missed Rafe inside, it was at Missouri. Uh, we had no inside game, uh, and they dominated the paint. So it'll be interesting to see the difference that Rafe makes. You talk about Rafe being back. Monty Hart's a big difference. Also, Albert White is not going to play for Missouri today. He's out with an ankle injury. He was huge in Columbia. He had 23 points. He did. He stepped up big and uh, hit a lot of outside jump shots and really kept Missouri in the game down the stretch. And, and uh, they will miss him today. But, uh, you know, they've got good players. Uh, Norm will have them ready to play. And, and it doesn't matter who's ranked what when Kansas and Missouri uh, get together. Uh, both teams are going to come out and play as hard as they possibly can. And it'll be a great game. The Jayhawks are 25-3 and three this season, 9-1 and one in the Big 12. The Tigers 13-9 and nine overall, 5-4 and four in the conference. We'll have starting lineups and the opening tip right after this. The Jayhawks lead the series between these two teams, 149 to 87, and the Hawks try to make it 150 and extend their home court winning streak this afternoon as we take a look at the lineup for the Tigers. Kelly Thames, the forward, then Monty Harge, Brian Grower, Jeff Hafer, and John Woods. Basically a three-guard set for the Tigers, and the usual lineup for KU, TJ Pugh, Paul Pierce, Rachel Friends, Billy Thomas, and the Missouri native, Ryan Robertson. The friends up there for the tip along with Monty Harge, and we're ready to go at the field house. Jayhawks win it. Paul Pierce loses control, and right away we have our first turnover against Kansas. You think this crowd's into it a little bit? Do you think the players are into it? Oh, yeah. Everybody's just got a first few minutes, I'm sure. Uh, the butterflies and the adrenaline is so high. Uh, you guys just need to make sure they calm down and, and take care of the basketball. Tigers with a chance now to take the early lead. You see John Woods having trouble with Billy Thomas. Five seconds gone. 
This place is as loud as I've ever seen. It's unbelievable. Great defense by Kansas. Now it's Ryan Robertson over to Billy in the corner. Ray for friends. Two points. Great shot by Ray. He makes such a difference inside. And do you think Ray has some motivation after missing that game in Columbia? Oh, I think he does. Kelly Thames guarded by T.J. Pugh. Kansas with the early 2-0 lead. Now it's Monty Harge out to Thames. And he drills it. That's a two-pointer. Well, the key with Harge is for Ray just to keep him away from the basket. He's not a good outside shooter. Paul Pierce looking inside for T.J. Pugh. Throws it away. And another turnover against Kansas. Coach Roy Williams there. In his 10th year here at KU. That shot misses from Thames. Rebound down to the Hawks, and here comes Brian Robertson. Kansas is a little lucky. They didn't get picked up defensively. Kelly Thames was wide open. Paul Pierce, now Rafe, working on Harge. Turnaround shot. Rafe going to work. National television, he's going to make a point that he deserves the Player of the Year award. Brian Grower off to Woods. That's John Woods, guarded by Thomas. Jayhawks up 4-2. to two. Harge, nice pass to Hafer. Jeff Hafer with the bucket. We don't see many layups uh, given up by Kansas that time. Nice passing by Missouri. All tied up at 4. T.J. Pugh. Two minutes into this game. Paul Pierce turnaround shot. Somebody got a piece of that one. Thames comes down with it. Here comes Missouri. John Woods pulls it back out now to Jeff Hafer. Now it's Monty Harge working on Rafe. Harge, crowd wanted to charge, but they get an air ball from Monty Harge going up now to Pierce. What a play by Pierce. Great pass by Ryan Robinson. Paul Pierce with his first two of the afternoon, and now we've got a blocking foul against Kansas. And the shot does count. Well, Missouri coming right back at Kansas. Kansas has to be aware to get back defensively. Here's the pass by Ryan Robertson. Watch this pass. A great catch by Paul Pierce and able to not travel and get the ball in. Paul Pierce scored 23 points against Missouri in Columbia earlier this year as Kelly Thames heads to the free throw line, a 78% foul shooter. And he completes the three-point play. Missouri now leads 7-6. to six. Missouri's first lead. Missouri handling the pressure right now very well. They've played with a lot of composure. Billy Thomas now to Pierce on the baseline. He's picked up by Harge and Hafer. And now Rafe. They'll take that one. We're along with it. Paul Pierce inside with the putback. Great rebound by Paul Pierce. Jayhawks take the lead back now, 8-7. Ryan Grower with it. Gets it off to Thames. Kelly Thames, who's already got five. Kelly Thames and Jeff Hafer have all of the points so far for Missouri as Grower misses that three. Rebound down to Missouri, but it goes out of bounds. Jeff Hafer stepped on the baseline. Yeah, there's a couple guys over there on the Kansas bench, Eric Chenoweth and Kenny Gregory, who have probably never seen this kind of intensity in a crowd. Jayhawks up by one. Ryan Robertson with it. Now great with friends. Paul Pierce had it knocked away briefly. He gets it back. Now Rafe. Buddy Harch again on him. And we got a whistle. He's going to count the bucket, I think. Shooting foul, Kansas will have it coming out of bounds as Lester Earl checks in for the Jayhawks. T.J. Pugh will get a breather. Well, T.J. Pugh is setting the screen for Rafe there. Harge tried to run right through him, and he, he'll get the push. Not a smart foul by Harge. He can't afford to get in early foul trouble. Well, Norm Stewart has said a lot about Monty Harge and how he has some fouls call on him that shouldn't be called, but like you said, Mike, he does get into foul trouble, and usually 
things he gets himself into, not necessarily good fouls like that one. Another quick shot by Missouri. Jayhawks up by one. We're almost four minutes into this game. Now Rafe inside from Pierce, and he's fouled by Harge. That's two. Those two quick ones on Harge, 16 minutes into the game, and uh, we're going to get his second foul. Rafe wants to take him right inside. Take a look there at Norm Stewart. Earlier this season, he became just the eighth coach in Division I history to reach 700 wins in a career. Well, he's had a great coaching career. Uh, it's just amazing to me that Missouri's yet to get to a Final Four. Ray Flafren hits the first free throw, and Kansas now leads by two. A couple of new Tigers come into the game. We've got Tate Decker and Tyrone Lee. Well, Decker, a good player. He comes in for Harge. He'll uh, probably be matched up with Rafe now. Tate Decker is 6 foot 11, 208 pounds. He's a sophomore out of Webster Groves, Missouri. And Rafe hits them both. Jayhawks now lead by three. That is the biggest lead in this early early going of this game. A couple NBA coaches here in the crowd today, Larry Brown and uh, John Calipari. I think they're enjoying watching what Rafe LaFrench can do. Jeff Hafer looking for Tate Decker out of bounds. It's off the hand of a Jayhawk. And that takes us to our first timeout. 15 minutes, 54 seconds to go in the first half. Jayhawks lead 10-7. Back here at the field house, and during that last time out, the 1957 KU team was honored. Team that went 24 and 3 and was the runner-up the NCAA tournament. Oh, well, great game! They played North Carolina in 1957 in the finals. I believe lost in double overtime. Uh, unbelievable team. Will Chamberlain also a part of that team. Kansas up by three, 10 to seven. Kelly Thames steps on the baseline. Kansas will get it back. That's three turnovers against the Tigers. Well, great denial of defense by Lester Earl. One thing he does very well is deny the post and made it a very tough passing angle for Missouri, and they threw it out of bounds. Ryan Robertson now to Billy Thomas. Yeah. Uh oh look out. Billy Thomas is going to heat it up. Billy Thomas coming off the game against Iowa State where he missed both of his three-point shots. He only had four points on Wednesday night. Tate Decker inside. Nice pass to Hafer. Blocked away by Lester Earl, but they'll call him for a foul. Here's the replay. Ryan Robertson guarding up at the point. Good screen on Rafe. Close to illegal. Decker drives, and he'll find uh, number 24 underneath. Looked like Lester Earl got a good block. At, uh, he got awfully high in the air, but they called it with the body. That stopped a 7-0 Kansas run as Jeff Hafer goes to the free throw line. He is an excellent foul shooter, 79% on the season. This is the second rebound knocked away from Kansas. Kelly Thames comes down with it. Looked like Decker knocked it out of Rafe's hands. Another nice pass inside to Hafer. Jeff Hafer with another bucket. He's got five now. Nice possession for Hafer. Ended up with three points. Kansas now leads by three. Billy Thomas off to Ryan. Now Lester Earl working on Thames. Crowd wanted a foul inside. Battling for it in there. Lester Earl along with Tyrone Lee. And we got a tie-up. Possession arrow points to Missouri. Well, when the ball goes inside, Missouri's collapsing very hard on the post. And you've got to really hold the ball strong. There's the pass to Hafer. He gets the layup. 13 to 10 Kansas, 14-40 left to go in the first half. Tate Decker working on Rafe LaFrenz. Baseline shot doesn't have enough on it. Rebound out of bounds back to MU. Well, good, good defense on the outside by Rafe. Bending his knee, sliding his feet. Decker wants to take him outside and try and work on him. They like to get Rafe in foul trouble. Kansas in his own defense. Kelly Thames now, and there's Brian Grower running the point. Tyrone Lee on with friends inside. Shot doesn't go. Rebound rate. And a foul going against the Tigers. Yeah, Rafe's, Rafe had his arm grabbed after the rebound. Kenny Gregory, TJQ going to come into the game along with Eric Chenoweth. 
We'll see Hafer and Thames, 10 points for Missouri. The only two Missouri players to score. As Rafe takes a seat so far, Rafe with friends in this game with six points. He's two of three from the field. Kansas setting up their half-court offense. T.J. Pugh working it around now to Ryan Robertson. Now Kenny Gregory. Shot clock is at 17. Paul Pierce. Spin move finds Ryan Robertson. All the way in there. Doesn't go. Another Look offensive back. rebound by Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce. Paul's going to the offensive boards hard. Paul Pierce has got six points and two rebounds. Jayhawks again by five. Tate Decker all the way in. Doesn't get the shot to fall. Rebound T.J. Pugh. Again, Decker trying to take it outside. Work against the taller Eric Chenoweth. Paul Pierce now Chenoweth. He walked. Four turnovers against Kansas. And Eric Chenoweth, another guy with a lot of reason to be motivated today. He missed all eight of his shots in Columbia and missed a couple of big free throws towards the end of that game. Eric Chenoweth's got to give Decker a little room. Wants, wants him to shoot the outside shot. Decker blocked away by Chenoweth. Tigers down by five. That shot gets all air. Rebound fought for. We've got out of bounds. Goes back to Kansas. That's Eric Chenoweth's 52nd block of the season. Hafer's three, an air ball. Both teams battling for the ball. Should have been a foul on Decker. I don't. I think they called him out of bounds, but. 15 to 10 Kansas, just under 13 minutes to go in the first half. Now TJ, wide open on that baseline. That shot blocked away by Tate Decker. Here Great. come the Tigers. That was a nice pick and roll. Good hustle from behind. Jayhawks get it back. Ryan Robertson. And he's fouled. One thing Coach Williams teaches is hustling down, coming from behind when the offensive player's dribbling it. And, and that time we had two guys go after the ball and able to knock it loose. Here you see T.J. Pugh and Nick Bradford coming from behind, able to get a hand on it, create the turnover. Ryan Robertson to the free throw line, 72% on the season. Ryan knocks it down, made a nice offensive move, realized that Missouri wasn't back, they didn't pick up the ball, he was able to take it straight to the basket and draw the foul. Bryant hits the boat as C.B. McGrath will come in and give Ryan Robertson a breather. Biggest lead of the game here for Kansas at seven points, 17 to 10. Talked with C.B. McGrath yesterday about how excited he is to see all these former KU players growing up in Topeka like he did. Well, Kelly nice, off nice offense by Missouri. That time just threw it over the Kansas pressure. Nobody picked up Kelly Thames. Jayhawks up now by five. Well, still Thames and Hafer, the only two Missouri players to score. And they're going to call a charge against Kenny Gregory. That is the first foul against Gregory with 12 minutes to go in the first half. Tigers down by five. Shot does not go from Johnny Parker. Rebound comes down to the Tigers. And a foul called against KU, I believe, Chenoweth. Well, that time, Eric got caught not blocking out. Decker had nice inside position there for the offensive rebound. Rafe's going to get back in the game. But first, we have a timeout. 11 minutes, 46 seconds to go in the first half. Jayhawks lead by five. Welcome back to the Fieldhouse. The 1952 NCAA championship team honored here at the last timeout. Well, Kansas shooting 55%, Missouri only 33%. Kelly Thames and, and uh, Schaefer, the only two 
players to score. They're combined five for eight for Missouri. Tyro Lee hits the three-pointer. That's a big shot. Oh, big shot for Missouri. That knocks it down to a one-possession game. 17-15. Missouri hanging tough. Tigers have scored the last five points here. Nick Bradford open shot. Doesn't go for him. Rebound comes down to the Tigers and Tate Decker. Here comes D.B. Ray. He pulls up. A little short with it. Rebound rate. Missouri's not wasting any time. They're really pushing the ball and getting a quick shot. C.B. McGrath all the way in. Great move by C.B. Nobody stopped the ball. Once again, C.B. comes in and gives us a big boost. Jayhawks now lead by four. Tate Decker with it out there at the top of the key, guarded by Ray. Now D.B. Ray. Good defense by C.B. Shot clock's at 15. And a whistle, and a, I think we got an illegal screen on Missouri. Three-second call. There's a nice shot of Clyde Lavellet. What a great player he was. You know, people talk about Allen Fieldhouse being the house that Wilt built. It was really the house that uh, Clyde Lavella built. They uh, they built the field house right after Clyde played uh, because of the increase in fan support. 33 points in the NCAA championship game in 1952. That team went 28 and 3, coached by the great Paul Allen. CB McGrath now for the Jayhawks, leading by four. Kenny Gregory. Pierce wide open. Well, Paul can finish it off. Great ball movement, double screen by Kansas. Paul wide open underneath. Jayhawks now lead by six. Paul Pierce has eight points. Kelly Thames walking on TJ and he walked with it. Six turnovers for Missouri. Kansas going on a little mini run. This is the kind of environment that could lead to a big run in a real hurry. Well, it can. Missouri's got to be careful. I'm sure uh, Norm will try and take advantage of timeouts if he thinks this game's getting out of control. Jayhawks leading by six points. Now Rafe LaFrenz inside. Great two-man game by Paul and Rafe. 6-0 run for Kansas. LaFrenz and Pierce both have eight points. And the Tigers take a timeout. Well, Norm's going to use a timeout. This crowd's going nuts. 23 to 15, Kansas. Just a moment ago, Mike, you were talking about how Norm was going to take advantage of timeouts. I don't know if there's a game where it's more important than today's game is. Well, you know, if he feels the game's slipping away, he's got to do something to try and break Kansas' momentum and try and take the crowd out of it. That's going to be tough to do today, but uh, Norm used a 20-second timeout. Kansas on a run. See if they can get a come down and get a good shot. Be patient. Literally hundreds of former players back for this weekend. And they had a banquet, Mike, that you were able to go to, and, and you said that was quite an experience. It was. It was a lot of fun to hear guys from the 1930s, 40s, 50s uh, talk about their experience at Kansas, and, and uh, it was just a lot of fun to see everybody. Jayhawks having fun in this game right now, leading by eight. Kelly Thames, and now Lee, all the way in. Off they got the shot. Tyrone Lee draws the charge. That's his first foul of the game. Well, T.J. Pugh doing a nice job of sliding over, taking the charge. Uh, he's kind of become Kansas' best defensive player as far as grading out. That time, great defensive position. Most of the players on this team call him the most underrated player they have. Now, T.J. couldn't get it going offensively there, but he's hustling for it as... Rafe LaFrenz dives head first into press row. Time for Rafe taking the press row out with his face. Oh, Missouri takes advantage of that one, and Kelly Thames finishes. Well, that's just not being awake by Kansas. Jayhawks now lead by six, 23 to 17. Playing a little international rule here. <laughs> I don't think the official even checked the ball. Under nine minutes to play in the first half. C.B. McGrath working baseline. Now Rafe inside, working on Decker. Decker got a piece of that one. 
Ray fought to pull it back out. Somehow, he finally gets it out to CB. Oh, Ray following his shot. He's awfully strong. Now, Paul Pierce knocked away from behind, but we got a foul. Lester Earl and uh, Ryan Robertson are going to come back in. That foul goes against Jeff Hafer. That is his second of the game. Well, that's a problem for Missouri. He's got about half their points right now, and, and they can't afford to have him get in foul trouble. Well, Missouri's played the last several minutes with Monty Harge on the bench after he got two quick fouls. Yeah, he may not see uh, any more time here in the, in the first half. I don't think Norm wants him to have three as long as the game is staying close. Lester Earl and Ryan Robertson re-enter the game for T.J. Pugh and C.B. McGrath. Paul Pierce hits one of two free throws. Jayhawks now lead by seven, 24 to 17. Grower looking inside, knocked away by Pierce. Now Billy Thomas and Hafer battling for it. It goes off of Thomas. Missouri will get it back. Kansas almost getting the turnover at the, off the double team. Take a look at Norm Stewart there. Look for Kansas come back, maybe double team again. Tate Decker was double teamed. He finds Thames inside though. That shot doesn't go. Easy bucket is missed. Yeah, nice job by Missouri to handle the double team. Got a great shot by... Great travel on that one. He had Decker, Decker up in the air on the three-point attempt. But I think that was a bad call. I think Rafe, uh, I mean, yeah, Rafe looked like it was a quick move, but he didn't travel. Timeout, 24-17 Kansas. Welcome back to the Fieldhouse. Chris Ronan here with Mike Maddox and the 1971 Final Four team honored at the last timeout. Well, Dave Robish, his sons, uh, Brett and Scott, playing at Oklahoma State. At least Brett's at Oklahoma State. Dave had an interesting conversation with the referee in front of us. During yeah, the they were talking out. about their sons. <laughs> Maybe Dave slipped him a 20. He gave us some calls. <laughs> shot clock is under 10 for the Tigers. Jeff Hafer takes a shot, misses it. Rebound, Pierce. Paul's doing a great job on the backboards, offensively and defensively. Paul's got four rebounds to go with nine points this afternoon. Ryan Robertson off to Billy. And now Ray. Watch Ray if he'll go to work here. Working on Decker. Wow. Ray's got ten points. He's four of six from the field. Jayhawks by nine. When you can hit a fall away jumper like that and you're 6'11", that's awfully hard to defend. Kelly Thames now to Decker. Takes another one, misses. Brett, he found Lester Earl. Now Billy Thomas. Go right back to Ray. That time he goes again. to the left. Going to work. Ray's making up for lost time against the Tigers. He's got 12. And the fans are going wild at the field house. Jayhawks on an 11-2 run, but a foul is called there. Another shot of Clyde. He's got to be enjoying this today. Foul went against Ryan Robertson. That's his first. As you take a look at the career scoring leaders, Rafe has passed Clyde Lavella today. Of course, he won't get near Danny Manning, but what an accomplishment to finish second on the all-time list. Oh, yeah, Rafe, uh, he's one of the best players of all time here at Kansas. Kansas coming out, a lot of double teams, really active defensively. Leading by 11 points, just over six minutes to play in the first half. Kelly Thames off to Hafer, lost it off his hand, and Paul Pierce picks it up. Nice hustle by Paul. Now it's Rafe. Spin oh, move. Sweet move. Lester the follow. It didn't go, but a sweet move by Rafe. This crowd is loud. Jayhawks by 13 points. Monty Harge. Can't do much with two fouls. Now Tyrone Lee, three-pointer misses. Rebound, Lester Earl. Lester's just got to calm down. 
Got lucky there. Ryan Robertson gets it. Three-pointer. Off the mark. Tyrone lead the rebound. And Ryan Roberts can kick to that one. Missouri will get it back. I mean, what an environment for college basketball. I mean, this place is unbelievably loud today. And we were talking earlier, Mike. It's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime thing to see all these former players here at the field house. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a great experience, and I know it gives me goosebumps to see this, and I'm sure it does all these guys. Jeff Hafer over there in the corner. Tigers down by 13 points, 5.15 to go in the opening half. That's Tyrone Lee to Thames. Lee three-pointer misses, and they'll call a foul on Kenny Gregory. That time Kenny kind of lunged at the uh, it lunged at Lee, and Lee uh, got touched, and he fell quick. Not a smart foul by Kenny Gregory. Shouldn't leave his feet. He's just got to challenge the shot, stay on the floor. Never want to foul the outside shooter like that. Now he goes to the line with for three free throws. Tyrone Lee is a 77% foul shooter. He made the two free throws with 11 seconds left in Columbia on January 19th. That proved to be the winning margin in that game. Well, hopefully it won't come down to free throws here today. Lee can cut the lead to 10. Jayhawks had a big lead in Columbia that the Tigers were able to come back on him. He misses the last one. Rebound comes down to Robertson. Jayhawks by 11. Five minutes to go in the first half. Kenny Gregory, three-pointer. Way short with it. Rebound. Out of bounds back to Missouri. That <laughs> looked like it went off Kelly Thames. Brian Grauer running the offense for the Tigers. And now Lee. Tigers down by 11. Monty Harge. Crowd wanted a foul. Put back is there from Tyrone Lee. Um, there's no give up in Missouri. I tell you, they're continuing to play hard. Kansas has got to stay aggressive. Tigers have scored the last four points. Eric Chenoweth, but he's fouled. Kansas going inside. That's another foul on Harge. That's three. Here you see the offensive movement by Missouri. Harge going inside. He'll miss the shot, but Lee's there for the tap in. Once again, no block out by Kansas. That's tough. Monty Harge getting his third foul. He still hasn't scored this afternoon. Eric Chenoweth goes to the free throw line. He is a 66% shooter. Oh, doesn't get the roll. Billy Thomas and Nick Bradford come into the game for Kansas as Paul Pierce and Kenny Gregory get a breather. Well, somebody out on the floor right now has got to step up offensively for Kansas. Uh, Billy's hit a three, but uh, none of these other guys uh, have really got into the scoring uh, part of this offense. Ryan Robertson's missed a shot. Uh, Lester Earl did get a rebound and put back, but uh, somebody else has got to step up for Kansas offensively. Big opportunity here with Monty Harch on the bench with those three fouls. Well, Coach Williams is going to get Ray uh, and TJ Pugh back in the game. Tate Decker with it. Tigers down 30 to 21. Four minutes to go here in the first half. Shot clock is down to 10. Now, I think if Missouri goes into halftime uh, within uh, 10 points, Warren's going to be awfully happy. That's the ninth turnover against the Tigers in this game. We've got a timeout. 3.53 to go in the first half. Jayhawks up by nine. Welcome back to Allen Fieldhouse. The 1974 Final Four team honored during the last timeout, that team went 23-7, and seven, lost to Marquette in the semis, coached by Ted Owens. Yeah, Donnie Von Moore, Roger Morningstar, Ted Owens, uh, a lot of great names. Uh, Mr. Cavisto. 
Jayhawks lead 30 to 21, just under four minutes to play here in the first half. Rape with friends working it on the baseline. Wow, that's a tough shot. Rafe LaFrenz has got 14 points now. It's got to be a walk or something. Well, Tate Decker lost it anyway, and here comes Billy Thomas to Rafe. Off to Ryan. Great ball movement by Kansas. Unselfish play by Rafe. Norm wants a 20-second timeout. Jayhawks taking advantage of the fact that Monty Harch is on the bench with three fouls. Lead now 34 to 21. Jayhawks on a 17 to 6 run here. Three minutes and 17 seconds to go in the first half. Well, there you see uh, the, the jerseys hanging here and uh, a little shot when uh, Will Chamberlain's jersey was retired. There's some highlights. Uh, we got to watch a highlight video last night at the banquet, and some of that was of Wilt, and uh, what a fantastic player. Great moment for him to, to come back and uh, be honored here at Allen Fieldhouse, and I guess he made the comment as he left town that day that it was the greatest day of his life. Uh, really meant a lot to him. And it really meant a lot to the fans here at the Fieldhouse, too. You know, he stayed for over two hours after that game to sign autographs for folks here, and I mean, that says a lot. Uh, classy person. Tigers down by 13 points, and we got to travel. 11 turnovers against Missouri. Well, you, you come into Allen Fieldhouse in this kind of environment, uh, one thing you uh, can't afford is uh, to turn the basketball over, and Missouri's done it a lot here in the first half. 34 to 21, Kansas. Ryan Robertson to Pew. Crowd wants a foul there on Johnny Parker, not going to get it. Now Paul Pierce, what a move on Tyrone Lee. Doesn't get the shot to go. He wanted a foul. <laughs> I don't know how that's not a foul, but... Kelly Thames, three-pointer, doesn't go. Rebound to Robertson. Now here comes Pierce. Paul's great in the open court. Smart play. Paul has got 11. He and Ray LaFrenz both in double figures. Jayhawks now by 15 points. Kelly Thames uh, wanted to shoot it, but he hesitated. Now Woods, John Woods hits. It's a two-pointer. That time, nice screen on the ball by Missouri. Freed Woods up for the jumper. Billy Thomas to Rafe, working on Kelly Thames. Boy, Rafe has been tough today. He misses that shot. Out of bounds. We'll go back to KU. Thames really bumping Rafe with friends. No call. <laughs> Kelly Thames has got nine points. He has yet to draw a foul in this game. Now, Billy Thomas. Jayhawks by 13. Billy. Misses the three. Well, not a good shot by Billy. That time he was guarded, didn't have his feet set. Now Kelly Thames, uh, knocked away by Billy Thomas. The Tigers will get it back. Coach Williams telling the players he wants to show some patience on offense. That time Billy lost a little patience and took a quick three. Minute and a half to go here in the first half. That shot's missed by Lee. That time Lee thought he was going to get hit and didn't. Just enough to throw him off. Call for three. Can't leave, ball Paul, ball. Can't leave Paul Pierce wide open like that. He has hit six of nine shots. Kansas by 16. And we got a foul on Billy Thomas. That time, Billy just so excited. Thought he could get the steal, just mug somebody. Brian Grower was the guy he got a hold of. He'll head to the free throw line, a 74% free throw shooter. Just under a minute to play here in the opening period. 39 to 23, Kansas. Grower hits the first. 
And at halftime, all of the former players will be recognized. You included, Mike. Yeah. That'll be exciting. It will be. It's just, it's just nice that so many guys could come back. It's great. Uh, uh, the University of Kansas to uh, bring everybody back and uh, it's, it's been a great weekend. Tigers got a chance to put one back and they can't do it. Here comes KU, Billy Thomas, the TJ all the way in. Layup does not fall. Tigers down by 15. Now John Woods. Woods finds Thames. He's double teamed, and he's fouled by Billy Thomas. That will be Billy's second. Well, another reach, not a smart foul by Billy. You know, Kansas right now has 28 of their 39 points have been scored by Paul Pierce and Rafe LaFrance. They've got to get some guys come up uh, other than Paul and Rafe to get some offensive production. Billy Thomas has only taken two shots so far in the first half. Both were three-pointers. He made one of them. 37 seconds to go in the first half. Well, Missouri uh, has done a great job of putting pressure on the outside shot. There hadn't been a lot of open jumpers, but Kansas has been able to get the ball inside to Paul and Rafe and let them go to work. Kelly Thames is now in double figures with 10. One thing Missouri always does well is it seems like they get to the free throw line and they can beat you at the line. And, and here in the first half, free throws have kept them in the ball game. There's six of nine from the free throw line here in the first half. They are a great free throw shooting team, 71% as a group this season. Thames hits them both. And the Hawks want a timeout to talk this over. They could take the last shot here. 33 seconds on the shot clock, 35 on the game clock. Yeah, Kansas is going to run the clock down, uh, get uh, not the last shot, maybe, but uh, they don't want to leave Missouri much time on the clock when they get the ball back. Look for Kansas to take some time, either go inside to, uh, to Rafe LaFrance, maybe run a, a two-man game with Paul and Ray, or let Ryan Robertson penetrate and try and kick it to somebody for the open three. They've got C.B. McGrath, and they'll probably use his quickness. CB in there along with Ryan Robertson, Paul Pierce, Rafe LaFrenz, and TJ Pugh. Yeah, look for TJ and Rafe to go down low, and Paul, and uh, he's going to get uh, Billy Thomas in for a possible three. Uh, he's going to bring him back. Billy's got two fouls. Coach Williams doesn't want him to pick up a cheap third before half. CB McGrath bringing it up. Now Paul Pierce. 20 seconds to go in the first half. Pierce again as the Jayhawks run the clock down. All right, C.B. McGrath's going to try and penetrate. you got Ryan Robertson and Paul Pierce spotting up for three. There's Rafe. Great pass by C.B. McGrath. Only three seconds left on the clock. D.B. Ray doesn't get the shot to go down, and the Jayhawks will head to halftime with a 15-point lead. 41 to 26 is the score. We'll come back with more Jayhawk basketball after this on Cable Channel 6. For the best price, the best service, and the best selection. The Jayhawks are 21 and 1 this season when leading at halftime. The only loss came at Missouri when the Hawks led 41 to 36 in Columbia. Today they lead 41 to 26. And the big difference, Mike, you gotta look at Rafe LaFrenz, 16 points so far. Oh yeah, Rafe was uh, awesome in the first half. Seven of 11 from the field, 16 points. Uh, here you see uh, Kansas defense. Hecker trying to drive, he, he loses his balance, then Kansas gets the fast break going. This is a great three on two fast break. You see Rafe showing his ability to run the floor. Billy Thomas is gonna flatten the court out, takes it to the corner, gets the ball to the middle, and good ball movement by Kansas, and Ryan Robertson able to finish it off. But Rafe are really doing it all, you know, getting the assist there, but uh, 16 points, did a nice job on the backboards had uh, five rebounds. Here you see Kansas shooting 55%. Uh, Kansas defense has been pretty good. Missouri only 32%. Uh, Missouri one of eight from three point range. Uh, Kansas only two of five. Big difference in the ball game though. Missouri has 11 turnovers and we talked about that in the first half. Uh, that's led to some, some easy Kansas buckets. 
Monty Harge out there playing with three fouls for the Tigers. Paul Pierce working on him, and now Ryan, Jayhawks by 15 points to start the second half. A oh, big point in the game right here. Uh, you know, it's some of the adrenaline's maybe gone, and uh, big, big offensive rebound for T.J. Pugh. It's important, though, for Kansas to come out at this point and really establish themselves here in the second half and let Missouri know that uh, they're not going to let them get back in this game. Hawks now lead by 17, 43 to 26. That's John Woods with it to Thames. Kelly Thames working inside, shot doesn't go, Pugh the rebound. Good defense by T.J. Pugh, Paul Pierce coming over with the help side. Uh, what a pass from Robertson to Pierce. Wow, Paul Pierce running the floor. Norm wants a 20 second timeout. Less than a minute into the second half and Norm Stewart already takes a 20 second. Paul Pierce and Rafe LaFrenz both have 16 now to lead Kansas. Well, I mean, Kansas running the floor. Paul Pierce flying down the floor. Ryan Robertson, knowing where everybody is on the court, gives it up. There you see uh, Norm's opportunity to go to the Final Four, uh, playing against UCLA, who won the national championship. A painful shot for Missouri there. Tyus Edney driving all the way down the floor, untouched. And there's another look at it. Yeah, nobody stops the ball. Tyus Edney makes a great shot at the buzzer. UCLA wins the national championship. Now, double team set on Brian Grower, but he finds Harge inside. Foul called against Kansas. Well, good foul by Rafe. Uh, a lot of people thought it might have been a clean block, including Coach Williams. Rafe isn't going to give him an easy layup. A lot of ball there. Monty Harch is not a good free throw shooter, 55% on the season. He scored 17 points and he had 15 rebounds in Missouri's victory over Nebraska on Wednesday. But he's yet to score this afternoon. Finally does there, makes the second free throw and Kansas now leads 45 to 27. Jayhawks had scored the last six points. Billy Thomas's three-point shot is off the mark. Out of bounds, back to the Tigers. Well, Billy a little out of his range there. He was three or four feet behind the three-point line there. Now Brian Grower with the ball for the Tigers as they trail by 18. Monty Harge double team. Now Grower three-pointer. Yes. Nice shot by Grower. Ball went inside to Harge, and he was able to kick it back out. The first basket of the game for Grower. Cuts the lead to 15. Now Robertson to answer. Can't get it to fall. Rebound comes down to the Tigers and Monty Harge. The Kansas can't stop going inside. They've got to get the ball inside the paint. John Woods guarded by Billy Thomas. And now Tyrone Lee. Again, Woods in the paint. Missouri bringing it right back at Kansas. Great 20-second timeout by Norm Stewart. Tigers have scored six straight. They trail now by 13, 45 to 32. Under 18 minutes to play in the ball game. Ryan Robertson, kind of a bad shot, trying to go over Harge. All the way down is Thames. Tigers starting to come back, trailing by 11. And Coach Roy takes a 20-second timeout to talk it over. Tigers now on an 8-0 run. And Kansas leads 45 to 34. Well, Kansas playing soft on the offensive end, and Missouri's taking it right at Kansas. Here we'll see uh, the ball go inside to Harge. Watch Grower move. He moves to the open spot, spots up for the open three-pointer. Good two-man basketball by Missouri. And here you see Harge on the other end, getting the rebound, kicking it out to Kelly Thames. Kelly knows how to finish it off. Gets the land. Kelly Thames leads Missouri with 13 points. He is the only Tiger with more than seven in this game. Well, you look at Kansas, 32 out of 45 points have been scored by Rafe and Paul Pierce. Uh, they've got to get some offensive production by some other guys. 
TJ Pugh to Wraith, working on the baseline. Down there with Thames and Harge, and they tie it up. Possession arrow back to the Tigers. That time, Missouri came down and doubled Rafe when the ball went inside. Nobody open for Kansas. 45-34 Kansas, 17 minutes to play in the ballgame. Now Tyrone Lee blocked away by Pierce. Here comes Robertson. He's got Thomas behind him, but he'll take it himself. Great move by Ryan. Outstanding in the open floor. <laughs> First basket in over two minutes for Kansas. All started by the defense on Paul Pierce. Now Monty Harge and a foul called against the Hawks. If that's Billy Thomas, it's his third. And it is his third. Here's Harge really working on Rafe. Looks like Billy got a lot of ball there, but uh, he'll get the call. That means Billy Thomas will take a seat with three fouls, and Kenny Gregory checks in. Tigers down by 13, 47-34. John Woods three-pointer. Yes. Well, Kansas went to the point zone defense, and then nobody for Kansas got out defensively. It's a 10-point game. 47-37, 16 and a half minutes to go. You know, Hard just got uh, three fouls. Kansas has got to take the ball in against him. Make him play defense. Ray for friends. Looked like he was going to work on Harge, but then Thames came to help out. Sixteen minutes to play now in this ball game. 47-37 Kansas. Pierce working the baseline and a foul called against Missouri. Looks like they got Hafer. That would be Hafer's third. And that is three fouls now against Hafer. So Hafer and Harge both playing with three. Yeah, Norm can't afford to lose Hafer. He's been uh, very good. He was very good in the first half and uh, gives Missouri some outside scoring punch. Got a timeout just under 16 to go. 47-37 Kansas. Welcome back to the Fieldhouse. Chris Ronan here with Mike Maddox and the 1986 Final Four team honored at the last timeout. That group went 35-4, and four, lost to Duke in the semis of the NCAA tournament, coached by Larry Brown. Some say that team was one of the best teams ever at KU and yet did not win a national championship. But what if they would have had the three-point line that year, Mike? Oh, they had some <laughs> great uh, outside shooters, Ron Kellogg, Calvin Thompson. Those guys could light it up. 47-37 Kansas. We got a whistle and a foul going against the Hawks. Get a legal screen on T.J. Pugh. Missouri now can cut this lead to, to less than 10. That's two fouls on T.J. this afternoon. And here come the Tigers. Brian Grower running the offense for Missouri. Now Hafer finding John Woods. And the lead is down to eight. A well, pretty simple uh, two-man game. Ball goes inside the post, a little back door cut, but get an open jump shot. Paul Pierce to TJ. On Harge, Harge blocks it away. Once again, we're seeing Kansas' inability to score other than Paul Pierce and, and Ray. Three-pointer from Brian Grower. The lead now is down to five, 47-32. Out of bounds to Missouri. Tigers on a 16-2 run. Have the lead down to five. Well, nothing going very good for uh, Kansas right now. Harge just holding his ground. He gets the block on T.J. Pugh's shot. Now it's Harge inside on Rafe. Rafe blocks it away. Out of bounds, back to Kansas. Tigers miss out on the chance to cut the lead down even further. And now KU with a five-point advantage. Under 15 to play. Paul Pierce, jump shot. Yes! Oh, Paul, big-time player. He steps up. Kansas really needed a basket. Paul's got 18 points this afternoon to lead all scorers. John Woods guarded by Gregory. Finds Harge. And now Woods again. 
Can't hit that shot. Right the rebound. Oh, Williams really got a good look at the basket. Missed an easy one. Ryan Robertson spin move and a foul called. I believe they'll get Kelly Thames. And that would be Thames' first of the game. Here you see the defense by Kansas Woods. Gets in the paint, missed an easy one. Rafe with the board. Kansas will start their fast break. Ryan Robertson will get, get a couple of free throws here as Kelly Thames now has one foul to go with his 13 points so far this afternoon. Ryan, a 72% foul shooter this season. And he's now three of three from the line so far today. Ryan's got an opportunity to extend that lead back to nine if he makes this one. 50 to 42 Kansas, seven points, six assists for Ryan so far this afternoon. And now he's got eight. 51-42, a nine-point Jayhawk lead. Brian Grower finds Decker, guarded by LaFrance. And Lester, Lester steals it. Good patience by Lester, didn't have the fast break. Now it's Gregory, the baseline, he likes that shot. Oh, nice shot by Kenny. Jayhawks have scored the last six. It's 53-42. Ryan Grower. Good defense by Ryan, moving his feet, keeping the ball in front of him. Missouri again, showing some nice patience offensively. Good help by Paul Pierce, they got the double team. Thames, Lester Earl takes it away. And now Paul Pierce. A little off with that one. Lester the rebound. Well, Lester really making some big plays on the boards and defensively. Earl has got four rebounds. Now Paul Pierce. Thought he drew a foul. Lester Earl. Nice ball fake by Paul. Coach Williams really hot. He wanted a foul. Four points, four rebounds for Lester Earl. Jayhawks by 13. And Missouri takes a 20-second timeout. Well, more and again, using the 20-second time to get the crowd out of the game. Stop a Kansas run. 12 minutes and 59 seconds to go in this ball game. And now it's a full timeout. 12.59 to go. Jayhawks by 13. here at the Fieldhouse and the 1988 National Championship team honored at our last timeout. Danny Manning among the players, guys like Kevin Pritchard, and of course our own Mike Maddox. Well, it was a lot of fun. A great run as nice Coach Brown could come back and uh, Danny was, you know, maybe the best player, one of the best players here ever and uh, it was a great ride in 1988. Uh, an exciting time for Kansas basketball. It was a true Cinderella story as the team lost more games than any champion in the history of the NCAA. Hey, now, you, you can't talk about the losses. <laughs> well, it just makes it more impressive that you guys won the title. <laughs> I don't remember any of those games. Nice, nice move by Hards that time. Got Rafe off his feet. A little head fake. Strong move. 55-44 Jayhawks. 12 and a half minutes to play in this ball game. And now Paul Pierce guarded out there by Jeff Hafer. Shot clock is down to 15. Pierce clearing everybody out. He wants to go one-on-one -on -one with Harge. Misses the shot. Rebound comes down to the Tigers. Well, a nice block out by Missouri. Kept Kansas off the offensive boards. Missouri is down by 11. 12 minutes to go. Brian Grower inside to Harge. And now wide open John Woods. Three-pointer. Well, Woods really lighting it up. Uh, he's hit a couple now. Woods has got 12 points. He is five of six from the field. He's hit both of his three-pointers. Kansas has got to get some ball movement. A lot of dribbling. 
That's out of bounds on Hafer. Kansas will get it back. Billy Thomas will come in, probably get Kenny Gregory. Billy Thomas. Gregory does take a seat. Billy Thomas coming in. Billy's only got three points so far this afternoon. Jayhawks up by eight points, 55 to 47. Missouri. Shot clock is at 15. Missouri doing a great job defensively, putting a lot of pressure on Kansas in the half court set, making it hard for Kansas to run their offense. And they get another turnover. Jayhawks lose the handle on that one, and here comes Brian Grower. Now Harge, oh, nice pass to Parker, but it's blocked away by Earl, out of bounds, back to Kansas. Well, Lester showing his athletic ability. Lester Earl having a fine defensive game. It's all ball there. Missouri doing a nice job, though, getting the ball in the post and then running people off the post and getting a lot of backdoor cuts. Robertson to Thomas, and now Paul Pierce. Pierce on the baseline. Wow, sweet move by Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce has got 20. He leads all scores. And the lead is back to double digits. The one guy that's been kind of quiet offensively here in the second half is Rafe. Oh, Monty Hart's working on Rafe. He draws the foul. Rafe has yet to score here in the second half. Now Monty Harge to the line. Here's the move by Paul. Great body control. Always knows where he is on the floor. Great move. Paul Pierce, 9 of 14 from the field. Monty Harge, nothing but net on that one. Well, Harge has really stepped up here in the second half, and... Uh, that gives him four points, but he's been big on both ends of the floor. Again, Monty Hart's playing with three fouls in this game. All four of those points here in the second half. He'll get this another one. Got a lane violation on Eric Chenoweth. Tell you what, Eric Chenoweth is not setting a There's good Coach precedent Williams. for himself against Missouri. Eric had a very tough time in Columbia, and he hasn't had one of his more memorable games this afternoon. Don't see that many air balls on free throws, but Monty Harge provides one right there. Well, that'll get the crowd uh, into the game. You won't hear the end of it now. Yeah. Jayhawks up by nine points, 57-48. We got a foul against the Tigers. That That's is four on Hafer. Jeff Hafer, a Big 12 all freshman pick last year. He's now going to play with four. And we've got 10 minutes and 30 seconds to play. Well, not for long. I think Norm's going to send Lee in to get Hafer. Ryan Robertson with it. And now Paul Pierce. Wide open. Well, Missouri just left Paul Pierce wide open. He'll hurt you. Paul Pierce, two of three from behind the arc. He's got 23 on the day. That extends the lead back to 12. Now Monty Harge. That's the Earl down with it. Up to Billy Thomas. He's got Chenoweth. He'll take the three. Monty Harge with the rebound. Jayhawks by 12, 60 to 48, under 10 minutes to play in the game. Billy was open. He uh, just can't get it going right now. <clears throat> Paul Pierce steals it away. Good defense by Paul. Billy Thomas again. Inside Lester Earl, throws it away. Monty Harge with the steal. But Kansas hasn't looked real pretty here in the second half. A lot of turnovers. Offensively, they're a little disjointed. 60 to 48, nine minutes and 20 seconds to play. Three-pointer goes from John Woods. Uh, Woods again knocks down the three. Woods has hit all three of his three-point shots. It seems like every time we play Missouri, somebody comes out of the woodwork and uh, goes nuts. Beautiful pass to Chenoweth for the finish. Great pass by Paul. 
The lead is back to 11, 62 to 51. There's Woods again, working on Billy Thomas, and now Hafer. Hafer still out there with four fouls. And Brian Grower, guarded by Robertson. Grower to the baseline. Oh, nice pass to Thames, and the foul. Well, great dribble penetration by Grower. Knows where Thames is on the floor. Kelly Thames just posting up in the paint. Kelly Thames now has 15 points. And that is the second foul against Lester Earl. There's the lob pass by Paul Pierce. Eric Chenoweth finishing it off. 62 to 53, eight minutes and 28 seconds to play. Jayhawks trying for their 58th straight victory here at Allen Fieldhouse. The last team to beat Missouri, or last team to beat Kansas here at the Fieldhouse was Missouri back in 1994. That is truly amazing. Almost four years have passed since the Jayhawks have lost at home. <laughs> it really is amazing. Lead is down to eight now, 62-54. The closest Missouri has gotten in this half is seven points. Well, Missouri has really impressed me with the way they've stayed in the game. They, they they could have been blown out here, but they've continued to fight and can play hard and really doing a great job defensively. They're going to get a push. Defense. Tyrone Lee was in there. He had just checked in for Jeff Hafer. And he does draw the foul. Jayhawks bring it out of bounds. CB finds Thames. Rafe, but a foul against Thames, and that will be his second. He grabbed Rafe. That's going to be uh, five team fouls on Missouri. Here you see the inbounds pass. Good ball fake. Rafe coming off the pick. They're going to get Kelly Thames with the body. Brian Robertson now. A CB McGrath. And another foul. That's three against Thames. And now Thames explaining it to Norm Stewart. Then he realizes there's still a game going on. <laughs> there's no time alcohol. You better get back in there. McGrath finds Rafe and another foul. <laughs> I don't know if that one was on Thames. I believe D.B. Ray will get the foul here. Well, they're holding, scratching, pulling, trying to do anything they can to keep Ray from scoring. Either that or they don't want the game clock to roll. One of the two. Kelly Thames does come out of the game now for Missouri with his three fouls. And the foul was against D.B. Ray. That is his first of the game. Well, Kelly Thames has been really frustrated here on this last possession. Norm doing a nice job of taking him out of the game, letting him calm down. Uh, don't want him to pick up a, a stupid foul and get number four here. Still eight minutes to go. Only an eight-point game. Rafe, a 73% foul shooter. Rafe's first points of, of the second half. 12 minutes into the second half. Chance to get the lead back to double digits. 64-54 Kansas. Eight minutes to go in the border war. Now it's D.B. Ray. Guarded by McGrath. And now John Woods, who's had an outstanding second half. Well, the great thing about this game is no matter you know where the teams are ranked, you know it's going to be a good game. Both teams are going to play hard. Missouri's really played very well here today. Tyrone Lee. And the rebound from Q. Yeah, Missouri guy falling down again after the jumper, trying to draw a foul. Nick Bradford now finds Rafe working on Monty Harge and his three fouls. Nice Back inside outside move. Shot clock is at 15. 
Rape again on the baseline. A little short with that one. Rebound comes down to Tyrone Lee. Well, Hart is a big body in there, and Rape's having a hard time getting around him. It's going to be a charge. Offensive foul against the Tigers, and we've got a timeout. 7.06 to play in this ball game. Jayhawks lead 64 to 54. And we're back, 64 to 54 Kansas. And Rafe LaFrenz at the free throw line. Misses the one and one, and Monty Harts with the rebound. Well, it's amazing how quiet 16,000 can get uh, when they shoot that free throw. Brian Grower now to Woods. John Woods guarded by Robertson. And a foul is called. Going against KU. I think they're going to get TJ Pugh. That would be his third. And now a timeout. 6.51 to go in the ball game. It's 64 to 54, Kansas. Welcome back to Allen Fieldhouse. The 1991 Final Four team honored at that last timeout. The group that went all the way to the NCAA Finals. Yep, uh, another uh, great run. We uh, able to beat Arkansas and Indiana and North Carolina. Just couldn't quite get Duke. Good defense by Kansas that time. Missouri had a chance to cut the lead to eight. 64-54, six and a half minutes to play, and a turnover as Paul Pierce was looking for Lester Earl. Well, that's 13 turnovers for Kansas. Kansas shooting 52%, Missouri only 42%. Only three of 10 for Kansas from the three-point line. Missouri shooting 46% from the three-point line. Really, and they've also cut down on their turnovers here in the second half. John Woods, nice pass to Hafer. Jeff Hafer puts it away. A well, pretty simple play, just a backdoor cut. Lob pass, they get an easy one. C.B. McGrath to Rafe. Exactly six minutes to go, 64 to 56. You know, KU almost looks a little tired, you know, all the emotion of the weekend maybe taking its toll on them. Now Rafe, three-pointer. That was online, just had a little bit too much. Well, he hit two in a row, uh, his returning game. Uh, I think it was against Texas Tech where he hit two. Rape a good outside shooter. You got to come out and guard him. John Woods inside to Harge. Well, Harge he... has been fantastic here in the second half. Taking it right at Kansas. It's a six point game. 64 to 58. This is the closest it's been in the second half. Now Rafe with friends. Rafe's got to look at the basket. If Harge isn't going to come out and guard him, Rafe's got to take that shot. Paul Pierce gets a pick from Lester Earl and now finds Lester. And it's off of Missouri. Kansas will get it back with 12 on the shot clock. There's Billy nice Thomas. Out of Harge. It's been great for Missouri here in the second half. Watch him go to work on Rafe inside. Rafe unable to get around him defensively. He turns around, he's got the six, seven, eight foot jump shot and he knocks it down. Shot clock at 10 now. Paul Pierce with it. And now C.B. McGrath inside to Lester. Turnaround shot, doesn't go. Rafe the rebound. Rafe went right over Billy Thomas that time. Now Rafe has got 20. The lead is back to eight. Crowd getting back into the game. Monty Harge again inside. Oh, Lester blocks it away. Wow, what an athletic play. Good that nobody got hurt. Unbelievable. Both players hit the ground hard. Lester <laughs> Earl going way up for that one. We got a foul against the Jayhawks. That one will go against C.B. McGrath, his first. There it is again. Now oh, this is Rafe's putback. There's Rafe's offensive rebound. With Kansas again uh, getting the foul. 
Monty Harge does look like he's having some trouble after going down hard there. That Lester Earl block. So we got Brian Grower to the free throw line for Missouri. That's a lot of body hitting the floor. Uh, Lester Earl, lucky he didn't get hurt, uh, lost his feet. Monty Harch is six foot 11, 335 pounds. And Norm's going to give him a breather. Johnny Parker, number 31, back into the game for the Tigers as Grower tries to make it two of two and cut the Jayhawk lead down to six. He does this just that, and now it's 66 to 60, four and a half minutes to play. Paul Pierce now to Billy Thomas, who's been very quiet offensively today. Well, Missouri's done a great job in their half-court defense getting out on the Kansas shooters. Pierce misses that shot, rebound Hafer. Now it's Brian Grower finding Hafer. Four minutes to go. Jayhawks by six. Now Woods long three-pointer. Oh, he's been hot in the second half. I'll tell you, Woods has gone nuts today. He's got 18 points. All four of his three-pointers have gone down. It's a three-point game. C.B. McGrath into Rafe. Well, good offense, getting the ball inside the Rafe. C.B. Pierce. Oh, great play by C.B. McGrath. to 63 Kansas. Just over three minutes to go. Okay, you're really digging down defensively. Thrown away by Billy Thomas. Oh, Billy got a little too excited with it there. Grower takes the back. Oh, Under nice three hustle. minutes to play. Nice hustle by Grower. Not giving up on the play after he made the turnover. And now Hafer looking for room. He finally finds Johnny Parker. And now Grower, shot clock is down to 10. Kelly Thames working on LaFrenz. Shot doesn't go, gets his own rebound though. Um, and he's no, fouled. Nobody for Kansas blocked out. Kelly Thames will get a couple free throws, down by seven. Kelly Thames staying after it. Followed his shot. Rafe, uh, neither Rafe nor Lester Earl blocked out after Thames took his first shot. Norm's got to be happy with the way uh, his team's played today. Kelly Thames has hit all four of his free throws this afternoon. You talk about how well Missouri has played, Mike, without Albert White. He scored 23 in the first meeting, and he's on the bench with an ankle, with an ankle injury. Yeah, I mean, he's a big loss for Missouri, and uh, they had him early in the game. Uh, Missouri may not have been down as much. C.B. McGrath comes out to a big ovation from the crowd. Boy, how bad does he want to win this game? Grew up in Topeka, big fan of KU basketball all his life, and here in Legends Weekend, chance oh, yeah. to knock off the biggest rival. Yeah, I know. I've seen him this weekend. He's been, uh, he's loved it. Thames, a big miss. Rebound LaFrenz. 70 to 64, two minutes and 15 seconds to go. I look for Kansas again to go to Paul Pierce or, or Rafe. There's Paul. Paul Pierce has 27. Two minutes to go. Now Thames, Harge was not looking for it, out of bounds. A big turnover by Missouri. Minute 52 left. They got a timeout. Jayhawks lead 72 to 64. Back with more after this on Cable Channel 6. Under two minutes to play, it's 72 to 64 Jayhawks. 
Paul Pierce. Guarded by Thames and now Billy Thomas. A well, big possession for Missouri, obviously. Uh, eight point game, minute and a half to go. Shot clock now is down to 10. Down to seven. Now Billy Thomas. Good fake by Billy. Knocks it down, big shot. His second three-pointer of the game. It's 75-64, Kansas. Well, that one hurt. Now Harge. Oh, he got the foul from Rafe. He doesn't get the shot to go, but he will get a couple of free throws. Again, Rafe left his feet defensively. He fell for the ball fake. During that last timeout, we saw the most recent Final Four team for Kansas honored on the court. The 1993 team went 29 and 7, lost to North Carolina in the semis of the NCAA tournament. Oh, great team. Rex Walters, a big part of that team. Adonis Jordan, who's not here. Richard Scott. Well, Monty Harge, just a 55% free throw shooter on the season. He's done all right today, three of five, and he's hit a couple of big ones when it counted. Well, I'll tell you, one thing you'll know when Kansas and Missouri gets together is uh, they're both going to shoot the ball well. There's uh, Kansas, only four of 12 from threes. Missouri, a lot better. Paul Pierce is two of three in that stat, but what I was going to say is, you know, the, the, the bad shooters will shoot good in this game, and, and you just never know what's going to happen or who will step up and, and make the big plays. Under a minute to play now, and C.B. McGrath is fouled. He'll go to the line with 49 seconds to go. It's 75 to 65. C.B. McGrath is a 64% foul shooter this season. Really, if there's anybody on the on the floor that you want to foul in this situation, it probably is C.B. Simply because he doesn't take as many as the rest of the guys out there. Five good free throw shooters out there for the Jayhawks. Well, CB's been great all year. He's come in for Kansas and really given them a big boost. And uh, Coach Williams likes him in at the end of the game. Uh, he's a good defensive player and, and uh, good with the ball. This is the second. Rebound comes down to Harge. Jayhawks by 11. Johnny Parker finds Woods, who's been hot. Crowd wanted a double dribble there. Woods to Grower now. Grower's got a three-point opportunity. Hits it. Jeez. Big shot from Grower. Cuts the lead down to eight. And Missouri co continues to uh, shoot the ball well from outside. And Paul Pierce is fouled with 25 seconds to play. That time Coach Williams wanted Paul to pass the ball. If they move it, don't give Missouri a chance to foul you. Well, it looks as though Missouri's road streak will continue. They haven't won all season long on the road. This will be their seventh defeat. They're a much different team away from the Hearn Center. 11-1 at home this season. 0-7 it looks like they'll be after this game on the road. Here sits that one. Well, Paul's a great free throw shooter, and uh, he's the guy you want on the line at the end of the game. He's been there before, and, and uh, he'll knock it down. Paul had 23 in Columbia. He's got 29 this afternoon. Yeah, great day for Paul. There's Woods again, John Woods. He's hit a bunch of threes. Misses that one. Finally misses a three. Rebound Thomas, and a foul is called. Oh, good block out by Billy. Strong rebound, 14.3 14, 14 seconds left. Now this is what the hundreds of former players came to see, the Jayhawks beating the Tigers. Kansas will improve to 26 and three overall, 10 and one in the Big 12. You know, Missouri's gonna lose here, but I think Norm's gotta be real happy with the way his team has battled in, a, in a, about as tough an environment as you're ever gonna play in. Uh, against the number two or three ranked team in the country. Uh, Missouri's really battled a hard game. The Jayhawks on their way to their 58th straight victory here at the Fieldhouse. 
The Tigers will fall to 13 and 10 overall, five and five in the Big 12. As Billy Thomas will head to the free throw line. He is a 61% foul shooter. Fourteen point three to go. And they don't mess mess around with getting another rival on the schedule, Mike. They got K-State coming up next in Manhattan. Well, that's always a fun one, at least for the last 14 years it has been. Uh, you know, one of the, the great streaks in sports. It's unbelievable that Kansas has won uh, at K-State 14 years in a row. That game will be next Saturday, 3 o'clock. It's been a long time since they've lost there, and the Jayhawks have never lost at Bramlage, and now they've won 58 straight here at Allen Fieldhouse. 80 to 70 is the final. And the perfect ending to Legends Weekend here in Lawrence. For Mike Maddox, this is Chris Roden saying good afternoon from Allen Fieldhouse.